Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So here today my discussion topic is phase two, feature engineering and feature selection for our project is sentiment analyzer. So here basically we are doing the feature engineering and after the feature engineering, we will move to the feature selections. So let me proceed here. So in this section, first we need to convert our ratings into our binary class. So here what we are doing, we are adding a new columns in our data frames is name lab label. And then we are checking if our rating is greater than or equal to seven, then we mark those as the positive class means the one class means review is the positive. And if our rating is less than or equal to four, then we mark this as a negative uh, reviews and those we provide the label value is zero for negative class. One means positive class, zero means negative class. And in case of if our rating is five or six, then we say, okay, this is the neutral rating and we mark those as the second class, like the two number here. And as we are in, so as we are interested only into the negative or positive class, so here we are removing the neutral class here in this code. And after that, we are generating new data frames named data, and we are keeping only the clean reviews in our data pre-processing pipeline. We clean the reviews and with label only. So we have two items in our data set now, like the review and the labels. Labels means zero and one, one case of positive review, zero in case of negative reviews. And then check again for the data uh, class imbalance. And if we see there is no class imbalance, like the review is equal, like the data point we see like for the negative class, we have the 60,000 data point. And also for the positive class, we have the 60,000 data point. So there is no class imbalance. So let me jump to the dependencies. So these are the dependencies we require for this feature engineering section and the feature selection. So basically we are importing the SKLearn vectorizer here, count vectorizer and the EFI vectorizer. Then we are importing the two model here. One is the logistic regression and another one is the assembling techniques, basically the random forest. And we need to split our data into the train data set and test data set. So here we are using the SKLearn model selections and we are importing the train test split from here. And we are using the here the lemmatizer from the NLTK and also the tokenization from the NLTK. And here we are importing the pandas and pretty table. So let's move to the lemmatization. So here basically we are creating one class to lemmatize our words. You can see here, this is the class name lemma tokenizer and we are inheriting the object class from the python here and then we are initializing the class and then we are uh, defining the call function to call the class and here basically we are passing the review into our world tokenizer so this is the world tokenizer we import from the analytic kit and after the tokenization we select each word and then we pass those tokenized word into the our lemmatizer this is the world uh, world net lemmatizer, and first we initialize those thing world and uh, world net lemma, and then we call the lemmatizer here, and then this code is to the lemmatization, basically convert the word into their root form. So this is the lemmatization, and now move to the vectorization. So here basically we are converting our text data like the, our review data into the vector form by using the count vectorizer and the tfidf we are using two vectorizer here one is the count vectorizer second one is the tfidf and with unigram only because we will do we will do the like the vectorization first with the unigrams second with the bigrams then trigram then four grams to see important uh, combinations from these features first we see the sc uh, score from the like the feature important score from the logistic regression coefficient for the unigrams then we see for the bigrams, then for trigrams, then for four grams. And after that, we do the feature selection by using the chi scare test. And then we do, then we move to the model selection and all. So here, basically, first we need to split our data into train and test set. So here we are using the train test split, which is we use from the model selection technique of SKLearn. Here we import these. Uh, SQL and model selection and you can see here we pull directly and then we pass the data set here and we choose the data site size is 0.3 so here basically 0.3 means like the 
uh, default, if we don't provide the value press size, then default is split like the 75% data goes to the train, uh, train data, set, data and the 25% goes to the test data. But 0.3 means 30% data go to the test data set and 70% data go to the train, uh, train data set. And here we are using the random state for the random, uh, random shuffling of the data and we are doing the shuffle true and then we use the vectorizer these are the count vectorizer as we import our and these are the tf idf vectorizer these are the both vectorizer we import here from sklearn feature extraction text module and these are the parameters for count vectorizer so you can see here we are interested in the world level vectorization so we are using the analyzer as a word and then we pass the tokenizer you can see here we pull the above class. We define the lemma tokenized class for the lemmatization of the word. So we call the same class in our our vectorization here. So we use this vector tokenizer here. And as we are interested into the unigram for this case, so we choose both value of the unigram is the one to one. And then min def, like the terms having minimum frequency is the 10 and then when max feature is 500. So basically, initially we are checking the score of our features. And after once we do the final model selection and model training, then we will increase the max feature count also. So after that, we like the, we generating the vector form for the text, uh, our uh, train data and for test data by using the count vectorizer here, you can see this is the code and we use the count dot fit transform first line we use count vect dot fit transform this basically convert the train data into the vector form and also train our count vectorizer on the train data and same way in the tfidf also you can see here tfidf fit transform this first create the like first train the tfidf vectorizer on train data and then create the also creating uh, here the uh, vector form for our train data and then we are again calling the transform for tf idf vector here and we are generating the test data vector for our test data uh, data set and now we are creating the x train y train uh, for the labeling of train and test data and now we move to the feature importance here we are checking the feature importance with logistic regression and count vectorizer so here you can see let me execute this one so here you can see first we, uh, we call the logistic regression which we import above in the dependency section you can see here we import the logistic regression here and then we train those logistic regression on our count vectorizer and count vectorizer data. So you can see here the X train count. This is the vectorization done by the count vectorization, or this is the label, Y train label you can see here. And then we check the score, like the score of our logistic regression. And as we are interested into the feature importance here, so we use the coefficient from logistic regression to check the feature importance. So here are the codes. Here we are using the pretty table to print the features and their score and features coming from the vectorizer. So as we train the count vectorizer on the training data and then generate the uh, corresponding vectors for the training and test data. And here we are getting the feature names first from the count vectorizer and then checking the confidence scores. So you can see here, these are the feature names and these are the scores. And you can see here some value in the positive, some value in the negative. So let me move to awful. You can see that awful is a negative word, is a negative feature. If you consider the domain knowledge and awful, they generally use a use for the negative reviews. And you can see here, this is the score also negative. So negative score means if we change this feature by one unit then uh, then the log code ratio for negative class increase by 1.19 because there is a score is minus 1.19 so there is the log code ratio increase by 
and negative sign means for the negative class and in case of positive sign so let me see here is a beautiful word you can see here beautiful is a positive word and score is also positive and is 0.42 you can see if we round up uh, on the two so if we increase beautiful picture by one unit then the low code ratio for positive class means for one class increased by 0.42 so this is the inter interpretations from the coefficient scores and if we check uh, more you can dig, uh, dig down more let's see for bad yeah here is the bad word and you see the 0.34 for the bad word here so as expected bad is a negative word so score also in the negative form and let's see for you can see the cheap cheap also bad and as expected negative sign so let's see great great is a positive word and score also positive good is a, a positive word score also positive so as per ex expectations interested in the getting the feature importance with tfm defective vectorizer earlier we do with the count vectorizer and here also we use the logistic regression with unigrams so first again uh, first we initialize the like that we are pulling the logistic regression here then training the logistic regression and checking the score again extracting the coefficient scores and then again printing the coefficients with tfid vector so you can see here here also we receiving the feature names and their scores and you see one change here let me check the you can see here output so if we compare this score score is increase in case of tfidm because tfidm is providing more weightage to the important words or the um, less frequent words and it penalize the more frequent words for example uh, similar to the stop words if we compare the output score with count vectorizer yeah so let's see yeah you can see output uh, count vectorizer score is 1.19 and in case of tfidf is 6.97 that's the difference between if we trained our logistic regression on, on the count vectorizer and if we trained our logistic regression on the tfidf and also same case in the beautiful also is like the beautiful score also increase and let's see bad score yeah bad score also increase so as expected you can see and let's move to the bigrams so in case of bigrams the overall code is same as previous we just need to change this value from one to two as in this case we are interested into to the bigrams rest of the things are same same we use the count vectorizer tf idf then generating the vector for the train data then for the test data then doing the labeling generating the label for the test train data rest of the things are same code is same so let's first check with the feature into importance with logistic regression and count vectorizer with bigrams so here uh, we need again to train our logistic regression with bigram features and then checking the confidence scores so this is also same but here is the thing is changed now our feature in the bigram form let's see what kind of feature we uh, we get in the bigram so you can see here like the enjoy movie is positive as expected enjoy movie again enjoyed movie again positive so you can see here like the as per expectations we receive bigrams here okay let's move with the and you can see here best performance positive okay bad review bad things you can see here one things like the these are the bad 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 so these all things are negative all score are negative so as per expectations but you can see here bad review bad things these uh, score is positive so positive score means their contribution go to the positive class like the low vote ratio for the positive class is increased by 1.47 in case of bad review if we increase the bad review only by one unit so let's dig down why this happened and let me move to the bigrams uh, with uh, tfidf here so we need to change the commenting here so here basically we are again using the logistic regression tfidf and bigram so code again same we are training our 
logistic regression on the tf idf and again the things are same you can see the acting bad negative words negative score acting good is a positive by gram so positive score so you can see as expected bad 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 all things are here all things are in the negative scores bad movie bad good or and you can see this thing also happen here also like the bad review bad things coming into the positive scores they are contributing to our the positive class so let's dig down why this has happened so uh, again i'm checking uh, the row reviews in the row reviews where is the bad uh, where is the unigram exist the bad review and our rating is greater than nine so let's see let's let me read and okay let me read this review so here is the i am i am sick of all bad reviews you can see here like the bad review we quote the bad review in the first line this is the unigrams and you can see the rating rating is nine let me read uh, the reviews and check the context of this bad review for, uh, with respect to this movie why user is mentioning the bad review here and the rating is nine so i am sick of all bad reviews for this movie i really don't give a damn if it true to like or not the movie is extremely entertaining so here you can see here like the uh, user is used bad review for the other users who providing the bad reviews or low rating for this particular movie and user personally like this movie and let me read again the acting was good so here you can see uh, a reviewer is appreciating the acting story was good now story also like the user like the story dialogue was good acting scenes were good so you can see here like the on the old reviews you can see the reviewer is appreciating this movie and that's why rating also 9 out of 10 so that's a uh, good rating but here the bad review used for the review provided by the other users who is providing the negative ratings or lower rating for this particular movie and so that's our finding and let's check another okay this review also while i won't call this is a great movie ever made it's not anywhere near as bad as other reviewers have made it out be and average rating of 5 to 6 would be fair but 1.5 so here you can see here like user is providing their review as a neutral review for this particular movie but here also like the user is used bad reviews as near you can see here anywhere near as bad as other reviewers like the other reviewers who provided the bad review for this movie and rating 1.5 rating is harsh totally undeserved so you can see here also like the uh, this particular user is providing the positive reviews or the neutral reviews for this movie but here this user used the bad and reviewer those by ground for the other users so that's the key finding and let me read this one also this movie was a blast for my little guys they love every minute of it so you can see here like the uh, reviewer is liking this movie enjoying this movie i had read all bad reviews here also you can see bad reviews coming uh, is marked for the other reviewers who providing the net uh, bad reviews for this particular movie and this particular user is appreciating this movie and also providing the rating nine you can see rating nine is good rating so that's why the bad review is coming in the with positive scores so let me back to the bad review you can see here bad review with positive score so that's the reason why bad review is coming into the with the positive scores why bad review contributing into the positive class so let's move to the trigrams so here we are again using the tf idf factorizer and the count factorizer with trigrams and in case of trigram we are only need to change this value as we are interesting into the trigrams rest of the code is same so let's check the feature importance first with logistic regression count vectorizer and trigrams so in case of trigrams we see these are the trigrams we receive 
go see this movie yeah uh, yeah i suspected positive go see movie so basically user is recommended in this trigram go to see this movie and let's read about you can see here film note good note basically is a positive word sorry good is a positive word but here user is used the note with good to reverse the polarity so here is the negation added by the users with good so that's why the score also negative you can see here not much negative not even so you can see here like the overall negative score as expected you can see one things one observation here that like the score is decreasing as compared to bigrams and uh, and uh, unigrams and you can see here like the blah blah we see during our eds this word is coming into the positive parts and their con contribution is very less you can see 0, 0.007 0, 0, so we will remove these words during our stop word remover during our pi uh, final pipeline trading pipeline we will remove this word and you can see the best movie ever seen best movie ever seen best movie year you can see as expected like the positive scores and for the bad also like the negative scores you can see here bad horror movie you can see as per expectations and actor good job is positive as expected so let's dig down to the uh, feature importance for the tfid factorizer with trigrams and in case of trigram you can see as expected like the acting note bad negative so as we are using the note here and bad also so not bad so here's the negative word and you can see here not good good is positive word but with note is uh, reversing the polarity of the good word so you can see here the negative scores negative score note plate also negative scores in case of pretty good yeah positive so overall like the trigram is positive acting pretty good so score also positive as expected as expected you can see here all the things and then again bad 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 guy bad over so as per expected you can see here the scores also best movie ever seen and you can see like the uh, score confidence score sorry the coefficient score is increased as compared to the counter rise and here and you see one observation in the counter vectorizer for blah 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 we, uh, we observe the score is 0 0.007 for the positive class but here the score is changing for the negative class uh, let me go back to the count vectorizer yeah here uh, yeah you can see here here is the score is positive then score is negative but definitely we will remove this because as per the domain also like the blah it's not adding much value no uh, no meanings in case of uh, we can't decide is review a positive or negative if we there is the blah word is exist so that's why we will remove this and let's move to the foregrounds in case of pro foreground again we need to change this value rest of the code is same and let's see the importance of the features let's start from the top so you can see like the act acting also great special positive score acting bad script bad as expected both things are bad so negative scores okay also great special effect positive because uh, client is lacking the things and then bad acting bad script negative score bad acting bad script story negative so as per expectations as per design so these are the bad or negative ones so score is also negative so that's why it's the uh, good things in case of best best the positive words and you can see here like the positive score overall but you see one observation like the score in case of four grams is decreasing if we compare with the uh, unigrams bigrams specifically even in the trigrams like this we receive the score is the good now score is decreasing and you can see here like the Friday morning, Sunday morning, this we also see during our uh, EDA part. So these feature is coming into the programs and we will remove these features because they are contributing to all the negative plus, but their contribution is very less. Definitely we will remove these features uh, during our stop walls in our training pipeline. So let's 
So again with TFID with four graphs. And here also you can see like the score is changing minus because from the count vectorizer to TFID, our score value is changing. So you can see here like the in case of positive positive four grams, our score is positive as expectations. And in case of negative, let's see. Funniest movie ever seen, so positive, positive. And again, we received the uh, Friday morning, Sunday night. So this kind of features. So we will remove this one. Good guy, bad guy. You can see good night, good luck. So positive. Great acting, also great as expectation, positive. But here you see, you can see here like the uh, in the, our unigrams and background, we see the score of the great feature is very good. But in case of this foreground, score is decreasing. So here we found one outcome here, like we can remove the four grams from our final pipelines because score is very less. So here we are, we are again doing the vectorization with count vectorizer and TFIDF vectorizer with unigram, bigram and trigram because we see in the previous sections like the in case of four grams, our score is increasing, our uh, coefficient score is decreasing so that's why we are interesting into the unigram bigram and trigram that's why we are changing this value into the one two three to keep the features having the unigrams bigrams and trigrams so let's see the feature importance with chi scale and here we are importing the chi scale from the sklearn feature selection and also numpy as required and now we are calculating the chi scale scores and then sort the features as per the chi scale scores and then we are printing those features first unigrams then bigrams then trigrams let's see what kind of feature we found during this feature selection so you can see the worst movie ever not waste time one worst movie worst time money worst film ever you can see here like that we are getting reliable features as per the domain if we see the world like that don't waste time so we can easily see okay this is the negative features yeah this movie uh, maybe not good so you can see here we are we are getting the good trigrams here let's move to the bigrams acting no bad good even good even cat not terrible movie enjoy so as per expectation still good like watching so we are getting the good features. You can see one of the great test. Let's move to further to the uh, funny movie, low budget movie, pay attention. So you can see here like the in case of uh, bygrounds also, we are seeing the good features. Finally, we will see during our training also. Okay, in case of unigrams, you can uh, you can see here the genius paper dialogue joy hardly positive. Let's see other looks satisfied, expected top this kind of features. Superhero dimensional strength. You can see here the quality. Yeah, here is the quality movement. So you can see here like the in unigram also we are we are getting the good features beauty you can see here funny enjoying so these kind of features we are extracting through the our uh, chai scare test also so let me conclude the, our this video so in this video we do the feature engineering first and we check the feature importance with logistic regression, our base model. And then we see the score with the TFIDF and count vectorizer and with unigrams, trigrams, four grams. Then we do the feature selections also with the help of the chi scapes. And after that, we will move to the modeling part. Then we select the features from our TFIDF as we see like the score is changing from the count vectorizer to T TFIDF. So now we go with the TFIDF and from like the uh, unigram, bigram and trigrams 
and after the child scale test we select a feature then we feed those feature to our base model first then we select the models as per the accuracies and then move to the model selections and after that we will explain why the particular predictions why model is generating the particular predictions for these features by using the shape d so thank you for watching this video and if uh, if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel so that you can get the update regarding the upcoming videos and so thank you